Hey everyone, Ray and Jessica here from TTP Laser. Today in this video, we are going to be showing you how to set up the new TTP Light Ray. All right, so you're going to need a 14 millimeter and a 17 millimeter uh, socket or wrench or uh, crescent wrench if that's all you have. And we're going to take the crate apart. <laughs> start by taking off the bottom. You have 10 bolts are holding the bottom to the floor of the crate. Uh, the top of the bolt is um, 14 millimeters and the bottom is 17 millimeters. So you've got three in the front, two on each side and three in the back. Let's take those off first. Now, if you're by yourself and you're going to try to take this crate apart yourself, you can take each of the panels off if you want, but an easier way would be just take off one of the sides now. You've got the bottom done, so uh, you can take off one panel, take off your bolts in the center, take off the bolts on the top, then you can just take this panel out and the rest of the crate is free, you can just carry it off. If you have a helper, a strong one like mine, then... Uh, You've taken it off the bottom, so we can just grab this crate now and lift it right off. All right, I don't know if Ray was holding up his end of the crate, but I managed. Hey, easy. <laughs> okay, so the crate's off. Use it for a dog house. Uh, in Jeremy's case, use it for a goat house. Uh, on top of the laser machine is your stand, which we'll assemble separately. So for now, we're going to take the stand off the top and take all the plastic off and we'll get going with the next. All right, we've got the laser uncrated. We've got the wrapping off. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to unpack everything from the laser. Excuse me? What? It's a bubble wrap. <laughs> okay, come on. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the tube out, and I'm gonna let Jessica do that because she's uh, familiar with handling newborn babies, and this is very fragile, and it needs to be handled like a newborn baby. Put it down someplace safe, preferably in a crib if you have one, and we'll just put that aside for now. All right, so everyone's laser is going to be packaged a little bit differently depending on what you order. Uh, you'll find some accessories in the bottom compartment. The side door is on top of the bed here. Here you have your chiller and there are extra accessories uh, like hoses and cords inside your toolbox. So we're going to unpack everything and get familiarized with everything your laser comes with. So these are the basic accessories that come with your laser machine. Uh, first of all, we have our HD Infinity exhaust fan. And next we have our water chiller. And then we have our air pump. Uh, you have your side door, which is packaged inside on top of the table. And you have your extension box uh, to fit the 100 watt tube. So let's open up the toolbox and have a look at what's inside. First of all, on top of the toolbox, you've got two keys. This one, it's more of a tool than a key, is for opening your side, uh, your uh, front panels. You also have a key to lock the sides with the components. On this side, you have your software. Uh, we recommend you take the software, download that to your computer, and have it in a safe place on your computer. Inside the toolbox, we have Ethernet cable, your lid door handle, you have 210 volt plugs, the long one is for the chiller, the shorter one is to plug the laser in. 
you have your chiller data cable, you have a USB cable, you have water lines, airline. This is a ground wire, uh, mostly if you're running a 220 system or if you don't have, if you have an older house and your plugs aren't grounded, you're going to want to attach this to the back of the laser and ground your laser machine, but I'm sure most of you are fine. And finally, you have some Allen wrenches to help assemble the laser machine. Now we have the laser ready to set up, so we are going to start with the chiller. So you can go ahead and find your power cable, plugging one end into the back of the chiller, the other end into the back of the laser. So these are universal plugs. It, um, they're a little bit difficult the first couple of times you plug them in, so don't be afraid to use a little bit of force if you have to. It's good. Then you have your alarm cable, which will go from the back of the chiller. You can just pull this cap off and plug it in. It doesn't matter which end of this cable you use. One into the chiller and the other into the laser. Go ahead and screw that on. Then we have the water lines. It's very important. You have to just pull these off. The water inlet on the chiller to water out on the back of the laser and then for the others as well water inlet on the laser to water outlet on the chiller. All right, now that we have the chiller set up, we're going to install the uh, exhaust fan. What's important to know with these exhaust fans is that it has an arrow on it and that will show you the direction of the wind flow. So you want this pointing away from your laser machine. So uh, you're going to attach the laser machine this, there's so many different ways of setting these up. Uh, for example, we put ours in the attic. Some people put them in walls. Some people just put them right in the back of the machine like this. Uh, you're going to have to figure that out however you want to, whatever works best for your situation. On the exhaust fan, you've got two cords. You've got your power cord, which will plug into the back of the machine. Now, I'm not as strong as Jessica, so I might have to push a little bit harder than her, but like she mentioned, when these are new for the first three or four times, it's really hard to push them in there. Don't be afraid to use force. The other one is for your speed control, which is in the bag. You can plug this into the end and you can mount this to your wall or any convenient location and you can adjust your speed for the fan from here. This you're going to want to exhaust outside or into a fume extractor if you have one. And next we're going to install the air pump. So here we have the air pump. Air pump is very basic, very simple to install. And you're simply going to plug this into the air receptacle, and you have your air line. Your air line just pushes into the pump, and the other end pushes into the back of the laser where it says air hose, just push it in. If for any reason you need to remove your air line, push in on the ring around the hose and pull it out. Okay, now with extreme caution, we're gonna install the laser tube. You're gonna to wanna to be very, very careful with this. Uh, first thing we're gonna do, take the laser tube out of the box. Put it down on the side, and we're going to go ahead and open up the back. Now your saddles come apart in two parts, top and bottom. What you're going to want to do is use your number three Allen wrench. Take the two screws off, Allen screws off the top. 
take your saddles off. Now you're gonna notice once you open this that you have a red wire that's wrapped in silicone here and you have an air line, uh, sorry, a water line. On this side, you have a loose black wire and you have a water line at that end also. So let's go ahead and grab the tube. Take the styrofoam off. And we're going to put it in from the side hole. The end with the red cap is the end that's going to get connected to the red wire. Jessica, if you can grab that other end. Very carefully. Bring it in. Now, the end that Jessica's holding, you're going to want to bring it about a half inch away from the bracket that's holding your red dot pointer at that end. So basically, half inch from as far as it goes that way. Now this is really important. The red cap on this end, don't lose it. Put it someplace safe. You can never ever run your laser machine without this cap on. It's uh, potentially dangerous to your health and it will destroy the laser machine. This is to prevent it from arcing. There's a lot of power in that tube and you don't want it arcing to the frame. So now that we have that on, we're going to just loosely put the top half of the saddle back on. And just loosely screw it back in just to make sure that the tube can't fall out. You don't want to over tighten it because we're going to have to turn the tube at some point. All right. On this end, we are going to attach the black wire, unscrew this, put the wire in, and screw it back in. Then we have the water hose attached to the water outlet on the top. Uh, it's a little bit difficult to get it over the second hump, so you can, as you're pushing it on, just kind of twist it back and forth, and that'll help move it over. Once that's on, then you can move this so that it is top and center. Then moving over here, we're going to attach the red wire the same way and your water hose you can attach underneath same technique and then when that is done please remember to put the red cap over top it'll go right over top of the wire attached and it just pops on and then don't forget to tighten the saddles on the tube to hold your tube in place okay so we're going to put the side extension box on here before we do though i just want to mention uh, Jessica was popping bubbles when she forgot to mention this. When you put this red wire on, put it on so it runs parallel with the tube. That way when you put your red cap on, it can go on straight and you don't have to push a bent wire. There we go. So this is really simple. Just put this on and you've got the four Allen screws that were in here. I took them out already. Tighten that down and your tube is done. So to put on your side door, there is one side that has a solid pin, and then there's one that has a pulling pin. So put in the solid side first, and then pull the pin to lock it into place. All right, everybody, good job on getting your laser set up so far. Now we are going to put water into the chiller. And go ahead and unscrew the cap and pour water in there. You can fill it right to the top. On the back here, you can check your water level. Uh, don't let it go below the yellow. Then you can get your power cable and plug one end into the laser. Then the other end you can plug into preferably a 20 amp dedicated circuit. A 15 amp dedicated circuit will work as well unless you want to add a larger compressor. Um, if your house is not properly grounded, then you will need to ground your machine. You'll just connect this end to the terminal on the back of the machine here. You can just unscrew it and you put that on and then screw this back on. Um, if you are unsure, I would suggest to call your local electrician and they can help you out with that. 
Okay, if you're choosing to use your stand that was included with the light rate, some people want to, some people don't. Um, being taller, we always like to put ours on the stand. The stand comes in four pieces and has one bag of Allen screws. They, I believe, are number five Allen screws. I'm going to explain the pieces here. You've got two end pieces, uh, or side pieces, I should say. The screw side, of course, goes to the outside, and the indented part will be the inside, just like IKEA. So we're going to put these like this, lay this down. Now, this is the back piece. You've got two screws here. This is going to go onto here. And you've got the front piece, sorry about that, which is going to, which is going to go on here. And then of course, take the other one, put it on top, screw it down nice and tight. Let's get at it. concludes the setup of your new TTP light ray. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our TTP channel.